Hey guys, I just wanted to come to you today to talk to you about a subject that I know a lot of people are interested in. It may not be for everyone, but it was for me. And I know that it's for some of you ladies out there. Um, and I'm talking about liposuction. So I'm gonna share with you guys um, through maybe a series of videos, my journey uh, to plastic surgery. So if you want to hear more, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. Um, and you can ask me whatever you want. So anyway, here to talk about liposuction. The type of liposuction that I got was uh, what they call smart lipo, um, where they go in, they cut you, they go inside under your fat and they suck it out with a smaller cannula. It's not the big aggressive liposuction that you have to be put to sleep for. Um, for smart lipo, you are actually awake the entire time. Um, yeah, awake. It was an experience um, and I, I was happy after I was done. So I'd like to share that experience with you and I'll show pictures as well. This was last year. Um, this was March of 2016. So how it all started, I have children. Um, I actually have six children and I wanted to get rid of, you know, some fat. Um, I do exercise, I exercise a lot, always have. I eat mm, healthy when I'm not stressed out. Um, but I had, I'm not big, um, I just had fat like in the middle section, upper back, stomach. So I started to do a little bit of research on the SMART supposedly smart liposuction thing. I found a local doctor here in my area. It was a place called Physician Skin and Weight, which has since shut down, not for anything bad, just lack of money. Um, so I won't link them down below. You can get the same type of thing I got through looking up just smart lipo, um, maybe Sanobello, I think that's how you say it. That's a big company, I think they're nationwide that do the same thing that I got done. Um, so anyway, I didn't do a bunch of research. I did a little bit. I signed up on Real Self. If you are looking to get any type of plastic surgery, I suggest you go to realself.com, set up an account, um, and you'll be able to research any doctor, any procedure from any area, hear ladies' stories, ladies and gentlemen, stories, um, see their results, they post pictures. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful website for anybody who's contemplating any type of plastic surgery procedure, or even just if you wanna know about plastic surgery, you wanna be more educated, go to realself.com. Um, so I went there, I made an account, and after that, I found the place, a um, little bit of research, like I said, I went in for my consultation, they quoted me. Actually, I went to two places. I went to one and they were just way too expensive. So I kind of based my decision on price, which you probably shouldn't do, but um, it ended up being okay. Um, I'll put the price below because I don't remember right now. And uh, so I made my, I got my consultation. They quoted me. I immediately was like, yes, let's do it. I'll give you the money, make my appointment. I think they made my appointment for the following like Monday. It was really soon. And so I went in all excited. Um, first, they make you pee to make sure you're not pregnant. And they make you do blood work a couple days before. I get there, I'm all excited. They even had me pee. I walk back in and everybody's looking weird looking at my charts. Come to find out my blood, my iron levels were not good enough for the surgery. I found out that I was, um, I already knew I was anemic, I always have been. I found out that I was severely anemic that day. Um, they told me, your, love, your levels are so low, you need to leave here and go to the hospital. I was scared as hell, so I left, I went to the hospital. Um, they kept me and had me do a blood transfusion. That's how bad it was. So I kinda felt like that was like a blessing in disguise that I went so fast to do it and was so excited because um, they said I could have passed out. Um, had a stroke, anything could have happened. So I was really kind of happy that it happened like that. Um, and then I did wait a little while longer. Um, I went to my doctor and actually got his consent 
before I just rushed off to do surgery this time, which I definitely suggest you guys do. He did a full, you know, um, checkup on me, checked everything, and he gave me the good to go to go ahead and have the surgery. So I do suggest you see your primary doctor before you go get any type of surgical procedure. I went in again, everything clear, everything great. They have you go take the pregnancy test and just to pee, just so you don't pee on the table. Um, the room they have you go in is not like a sterile room. It's, there's a TV in there. They were playing like, they, they let me pick a movie. Um, it's really weird. And they have you get undressed, but they let you wear a little paper bra and paper underwear so you're not just laying out there for everybody to see. You lay on a table, you get blanket. They gave me some socks. I had my own socks, but they gave me their socks. Um, they gave me a couple pills, but they didn't give me anything like to calm me down or anything like that. I wasn't that nervous. I'm kind of that kind of person that's like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. So I wasn't that nervous. Um, so I don't really remember what the pills were, but I know that I think it's like an antibiotic and something else. Um, maybe a pain pill, but like I said, not anything really strong. So they put little shots to give you a numbing shot in the spots that they're going to cut holes. They just poke little holes. Um, there was two in my lower abdomen area, um, two in my upper like bra area, one in my belly button, and I think there was two down here in the hip area, if I remember right, on each side. So they cut the holes and then they stick a cannula in there that has tumescent fluid and like some numbing solution and they stick it in there. And boy, I tell you, it hurt. Um, it wasn't, I mean, obviously you're kind of numb. So it's not like, you know, doesn't feel like something's actually stabbing you like what it really is but it's just the feeling I don't want to scare you guys but I just want to be honest it's like you're, you can feel your flesh because what they're doing you know they're going between your skin and your fat and they're opening it up and they're sticking all kind of fluid in there to make it you know loose and easy for them to just go in and suck the fat out so they're ramming the let me find some Let's see here. Let's say this is the cannula. They're putting it in there, putting it in there. So that's what it feels like. Um, again, not like a knife, but it, the your flesh is coming apart. Ugh, I don't know. And yeah, so again, it wasn't painful. I wasn't going to scream. I was actually talking and kind of smiling all the way through it. But I think my smile was more like, yes, I'm going to be snatched after this. I didn't give a damn about what was going on, but it hurted. Um, and so after they do that, they check you to make sure you're all numbed up. They look at your skin color. I don't remember if it's supposed to be red or white, but whatever color it is, they touch it. You're, you're full up with fluid. Um, you're ready to go. So then they get the cannula that sucks all the fat out, fat and fluids, and they suck it all out all around. Um, didn't hurt that bad because I was kind of numbed up then. There were just a few areas where you'll get a little twinge, a little eh like you know, ah, you know I didn't scream or anything but he'd just be like okay you know a little more gentler right there and those areas were like right up in here when he gets like right to the armpit area and then down here when it gets to like the belly button so just think you know the areas that are really thin thin skinned and sensitive when they got up there that's where you got those little twinges of pain um after it took about maybe an hour and a half and it started the, the numbing solution i don't know if it was me or that but i started to feel a little bit more discomfort so he went in and put some more stuff in there and you know finished what he needed to do um they sucked out three thousand cc's i think it's called of uh fat and solution um so when it was done they have you stand up they put a garment on you. I'll show you what that garment looks like. Okay, so it's like a this type of thing. Zips up, it doesn't have legs. It has a backside. Um, snaps between the legs, zips up. Now, like I said, I hadn't done a lot of research, um, but I did afterwards because I have gotten another procedure since then. 
um, for other things that I want to talk about in another video. So this wasn't tight enough. It's not, I mean, right after surgery, it's not supposed to be super tight, but this is a 1X. I'm like a medium. So I don't know what they were thinking with this. Um, it wasn't form fitting at all. But anyway, um, they put this on, they put like pads over your incisions and then um, they put your clothes back on you. They put you in a wheelchair. Somebody does need to be there to pick you up and they take you home. My husband was there waiting and um, I told him I was hungry because you're not supposed to eat before the surgery. He took me to Chick-fil-A, I got a salad. Um, they say that you're gonna leak all over the place. I didn't, I had a towel in the seat, maybe a couple little you know, spots got on the towel. Um, we went, we got, I got a salad, but then once I got home, I didn't want to eat. I had the bed set up. I had like, um, puppy pads in the bed, I had my pillow set up so I can just kind of lay back like this. And I just got in the bed and went to sleep. That's it. They told me just take Tylenol. They didn't give me any pain meds. Um, and I didn't really need them. I was okay. You know, it was, I was very stiff and I did feel discomfort. Um, I was a little bit nauseous, and again, I just went to sleep. Hours later, I woke up, ate my salad, changed all the pads out, um, took a couple more Tylenol, went back to okay, sleep. So I signed into my real self account so that I can give you the real deal, how I felt um, that next day. Day one, woke up and showered, it was fine. And I just rested for the rest of the day. Today I feel better. Ever since I got home, the pain has been no more but a five. And so far, I'm happy with the results. End of day five was the next time I updated. Um, I'm feeling fine, but I'm having issues with my compression garment. So I went back um, a couple days later for a follow-up. And they gave me, it's so gross now because it's a long time ago. They gave me this compression garment. You wrap it around your body. It's sticking to everything. And it has Velcro and you wrap it around three times. Bloop, 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 all around, real tight. So um, you wear it all the time. Um, 10 days post-op, super itchy for the last two days. It's so annoying. I'm also swelling. Definitely don't look small as before. I was going to take pictures at night, but it was too depressing. I have a few hard spots. I did some massaging, um, and I'm either wearing my comp compression garment or waist trainer at all times. Pain is gone, and I'll post new pictures as soon as they get better. For the next few days, literally like 10 days, that, it was swollen. I don't know it's swollen. I'm like, ill, fat, depressed, ugh, everything's horrible in all of my posts. All right, so by day 19, oh, I'm looking a little better. Swelling is going down. By day 23, my waist trainer's getting loosed. I finally don't have, I finally have it on the last three hooks. Um, it's not super tight. My stomach is not super flat, but this is definitely progress. On day 28, I took a picture with clothes to compare, which I hadn't really been doing. Oh my gosh, so much better. For just a non-invasive procedure that you can, you know, lay down, get the procedure done, go back to work a couple days later, I feel like this is like a miracle. I felt wonderful. Um, I had my one month checkup. The nurse asked how everything was going, took vitals, measurements, picture. Now, here are the results. In the upper abdomen area, I lost one inch. In the waist area, I lost five inches. In the lower ab area, I lost two inches. I hadn't lost anything in this upper right here. So um, they said I'm still healing, so hopefully it goes down. I was clear to exercise, which was great because since surgery I had gained a pound, but she said I'll start to see my final results in the next three months. 